What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning the Nordic nightmare, Robert Hellenius. Robert Hellenius, of course, he plans to rip away Anthony Joshua's belt on a Viking invasion to Britain. Of course, we know that Hellenius upset Adam Kalnaki in the fourth round, knocking him out, stopping him. And of course, Adam Kalnaki is the latest month's WBA eliminator, uh, demolishing the New York-based Pol Polish <clears throat> fighter inside four rounds. But that lines him up for a shot against Anthony Joshua, who holds the WBA Super, IBF, and the WBO belt. Okay, Hellenius admits he was stunned by Joshua's first defeat to Andy Ruiz, which was swiftly avenged by Britain's unified champion in December. Now, of course, this guy has sparred with Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder, okay? So he's had a lot of um, experience when it comes to these guys. So maybe he's picked up some habits along the way fighting them both, tr uh, sparring them both. And he says, I think it would be a very interesting fight against Joshua, Helenia said. I would like that very much. It would be fireworks and tactics, of course, but I think of it, it would be a very, very interesting fight for me. He says <clears throat> that, yes, that's exactly what I'm planning to do. I'm coming to take Anthony Joshua's belts because this is what I call a Viking invasion. Okay. Now, Hellenius is a guy that was beat by Gerald Washington but also beat Adam Kalnaki. Adam Kalnaki beat Gerald Washington. So this is the way it lines up, okay? These fighters have different styles. These styles clash together in certain ways, okay? And it's, it, it either benefits one or the other, okay? That's the beauty of boxing. You can't assume that there's just this one guy can beat everybody. Somebody has somebody's number. Somebody is going to get it. And Hellenius is coming for it. He's been beaten before. Cool. Okay. But he was able to take out, out Adam Kalnaki. A lot of people were stunned, you know, which I was too. I was, I was stunned because that's the sport that I love that I hate so much, which is boxing. This happens. Hellenius is 6'6". He's a tall guy, you know. Um, in fact, I think he's taller than Deontay and Anthony Joshua, honestly. He's a big guy. He has long range, a long, long reach. And he does have some pop behind that right hand, just as Adam Kalnaki, okay? Because Adam Kalnaki, as tough as he may seem or may appear to be or to appear to bend, he couldn't take those punches from Hellenius. And if you take Hellenius for granted, he will come to get you. And a guy like Hellenius, you know, um, that is an humble guy, he's not really a trash talker, but this guy knocking out an uh, undefeated fighter does give him buzz, does make him crunk. It makes him... Um, that much interested and motivated to get in the fight, get in the ring with these guys. And if he does have a shot at Anthony Joshua, oh well, so be it. I would be interested in seeing the fight simply because I know this guy has pop. And if he can take down someone like Adam Kalnaki, there may be a chance he can take down a guy like Anthony Joshua. Okay, it might be fireworks, like he says, and tactics of things of that nature, then it would be a good fight for people to see. This just shows you that people didn't even know who Hellenius was, really. They had wrote him off a long time ago when Gerard Washington beat him, and Gerard Washington is not on the level, okay? Because Gerard Washington just got knocked out by Charles Martin, okay? So every guy has his day, and the day may be for Hellenius to come against Anthony Joshua for those possible titles, okay? So it looks good, and he says he's going to have a Viking invasion. Um, we'll see if he can do that. You guys tell me what you think about Robert Hellenius being the, the next step from almost being that guy to face the unified heavyweight champion of the world, Anthony Joshua. Of course, please subscribe, and you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.